Good morning. With the U.S. hitting another heartbreaking milestone over the weekend, recording more than 700,000 COVID-19 deaths, I want to take a moment to talk about the toll the virus has taken on us locally. Each year, the Department of Public Health issues a report detailing the causes of death in St. Louis County. The report for 2020 will be released later today, but I'd like to share some of those details with you now. Like in 2019, heart disease and cancer were the leading causes of death last year. But unlike 2019, COVID-19 dealt a devastating blow to our community in 2020. As a result, it was the third leading cause of death last year. That put it ahead of unintentional injuries such as overdoses and car crashes, strokes, Alzheimer's, chronic lower respiratory disease, kidney disease, diabetes, uh, the flu, and pneumonia. Worth noting is that the first COVID-19 death in St. Louis County was announced in the third week of March, but the virus quickly caught up with other frequent causes of deaths that occurred throughout the year. Of the 11,958 deaths in St. Louis County last year, 1,310 were caused by COVID-19, accounting for 11% of all deaths. Similar to national trends, we saw great disparities by race in COVID-19 mortality rates in St. Louis County. African-American residents died at a rate of 2.4 times the rate of white residents. The association between adverse health outcomes and socioeconomic status has been well documented over the years. And that association has, was uh, seen during this pandemic as well, with those living in poverty having the highest mortality rates. In St. Louis County, mortality rates were the highest in the outer north region of the county, closely followed by the inner north region. And the lowest mortality rates were in the central and south portions of St. Louis County. Today's report shows how historic health disparities continue to play out here and across the country. In 2020, life expectancy in the United States dropped by 1.5 years, the biggest decline in nearly two decades. In St. Louis County, life expectancy declined by 2.2 years. For African-American women, the life expectancy declined by nearly four years, and African-American men, 3.4 years. Life expectancy varies greatly depending on the zip code of birth. For example, a child born in zip code 63134, the area that wraps around the eastern edge of Lambert Airport and includes Berkeley, a resident can be expected to live to the age of 66. On the other hand, 10 miles away in the Clayton zip code of 63105, a resident can be expected to live 20 years longer. The report that will be released today also highlights the health conditions of those who died from COVID-19. While many had chronic health conditions, the top rated health factor was the flu or pneumonia followed by sepsis, respiratory failure, and heart disease. Like for COVID-19, there is an effective vaccine for the flu. And beginning today, Flu shots are available at all three of our health department clinics. The new flu vaccine protects against four different flu viruses and is recommended for anyone six months of age or older. The flu shot can be administered at the same time as a COVID vaccine, vac uh, vaccine, but both vaccines are available at our Berkeley, Pine Lawn, and Sunset Hills locations. As fall approaches and the cold weather brings more people indoors, for longer periods of time, let's do all that we can to keep one another safe. Get vaccinated against the flu and COVID-19. And I'm happy to take any questions. So we got some reports, some people concerned when you were at an event this weekend at the Grand Center Gala um, in a crowd of about 250 people without a mask. Of course, St. Louis County has a mandate. Would you like to respond to that? Well, sure. We um, um, still have some confusion in our community about the rules regarding mask mandates. And that event's a good example. Um, that was an outdoor uh, tented event. And uh, we follow the guidelines, wear a mask until you're seated. And then when you're sitting and uh, eating and drinking, then you don't wear a mask. Um, of course, we live in a hyper-partisan world and it's very common for folks to pick up pieces of our mask mandates and uh, talk about them out of context or uh, be unclear or just simply confused about the rules and regulations. Any other questions? 
Okay, thank you.